welcome you all to the dnd learning series and as we have promised we are here to give the more information regarding our tinkering labs what are those and uh, what are the components that we are having in it how to make use of them to develop the beautiful projects how to just teach the students or how to make the students to get more interest towards our adult tinkering lab these are all the information that we are going to share but this is the first video which was very much required to make the students as well as the teachers to be aware about what is tinkering lab and how beautiful it is and how it is going to impact our most of the socio economic things uh, not only the socio economic as well as our, what is the environment that we are having in our school it is going to get changed completely if you just take this tinkering lab as a part of our curriculum as a part of our syllabus so first of all let us see what is adult tinkering lab and how it got started with so uh, the atal innovation mission is a flagship initiative set up by the niti aayog to promote innovation and entrepreneurship skill across the country based on a detailed study and deliberations on innovation and entrepreneurs needs of india in the years to come that means when uh, the actually if you see the idea behind or what is the need what actually the government of india or the niti aayog failed that a tinkering lab or any kind of a lab which will assist the students to have these kind of a skills that is the entrepreneurship and the innovation skills because when the government came up with an idea of make in india so you people might be aware about that so the make in india the purpose behind the make in india is that more number of things that should get innovate uh, that should get uh, manufacture in india so that uh, we will get more number of employment our economy will improve and uh, those were the many good projections that way we are having during that time but ultimately when the uh, government thought about it in long term then we came to know that we are paying a lot of fees that means the patent fees or maybe some other things to the outside countries because most of the things which were getting produced in india uh, were been innovated outside india that means we are just taking them with some patents uh, we are pay, we are buying the patents by paying some fees so that is not going to work in long term so if you want to make a sustainable development if you want to have the very good economy you should have something of your own so that is when uh, this idea of having the tinkering lab emerged so along with make in india we have to innovate in india so not only to make but first innovate and then make in india so that was the uh, story how the tinkering lab started so initially they gave some few schools like 200 then once again then 200 250 then 1500 then 3000 then 6000 and once again now around 3000 so there are around 15000 schools they have declared and uh, more than 7 8000 schools are having the lab in india and they are working on it so the most important thing is that how it is beneficial and what are the benefits that we are going to have through this so let us have a look at it so first thing is that it is going to get develop entrepreneurship skill so uh, so what is that entrepreneurship so you may be knowing you may be knowing the terms like uh, businessman okay so businessman so what is this entrepreneur or what is this entrepreneurship so entrepreneurship is the activity of setting up a business or businesses taking on financial risk in the hope of profit so uh, most of the actually someone if you, someone is starting a new business then you can call him as a entrepreneur because he is not knowing whether that business will sustain or not so that kind of a system is called as entrepreneurship so that skill we wanted to develop among the student or we can call it as or we we wanted to have the student entrepreneur that means if someone is good at their projects they why can't they start the business at the age of uh, 13 14 or 15 because business is a business there is no any age limit for it so that was the main benefit and uh, if some students or someone if they make some business plan or if they make some entrepreneurship uh, trial or if they go for the entrepreneurship they can create a lot of employment they can create a lot of employment as well as that is going to assist our economy because see everyone is seeking they everyone is job seeker no one is here to offer a job 
no one is no one wanted to become an employee everyone want to become a become an employee so that mindset how to be changed so that is going to help here uh, that is going to help our economy and strengthen the currency so that was about the benefits in general so let's come to the point like that means in the system adult tinkering lab there are two parts one is student another is a teacher or a mentor who is going to guide all the students so let us see about these two main important factors students so how it is going to benefit the students first thing is that the student who are maybe most of the time are not capable to take their own decisions uh, most of the times their decisions are been forced by the parents or sometimes it be it has been like influenced by the decision of his friend because if someone after 10th standard if someone wants to if someone wants to pursue their education uh, if you ask them they will say that no um, i will go for engineering i will go for uh, medical or something like that they will be not that clear and i will tell you that why we are having lot many number of unskilled people because they lack the interest they don't know what is their area of interest because they confused or they missed at their first step and that is at the after school because after leaving the school they have to go to the they have they are going to enter the world where they have to choose among their right way of going to the future so that is the area where they need most of a clear mindset and this adult tinkering lab will ensure or will help them to take a decision consider that if some students if you are having or if you are involving all the students into a lab so they will come to know that this technology is my field that means i i can handle this or i can do something better in this or this is not my field so they will completely change the track they will go away from that and they will try to find something which they are interested into if someone is good at the sports they can choose that sport as their area of interest or they can boldly say at their home yeah i tried this and that is not my area that is not my sector i want to do something which is my own area that is which is i am having a lot of interest so there it will benefit a lot and how it is going to benefit in the long term we are going to get a very good workforce because in the long term the people who are interested into their sectors they will enter into their sector and they will do lot of innovations as i said they will try for their own entrepreneurship skills and they will take sometimes as i said that some people can go research as their career which is very very low in present india most of the people they don't try or they parents even sometimes they force not to go to the research sector because it is consuming like time consuming you will not get the result at that immediate period so that is what the area is needed and the, how the students can go into that with a full confidence that's up to the students uh, there are even more benefits also that's up to the different different uh, way of thinking that is i'm putting here what are the thoughts i'm having now let us see about the other part of this teachers or a mentors or a lab assistants who are going to involve into this tinkering lab the first thing that the teacher is going to get benefited is it will make teaching simple because the teachers can deliver the lectures as very good manner because they are having a more practical approach than the theoretical now they will be getting more beautiful ideas how they can show some models during their classes if they are involving the atl lab into their teaching part one more thing is that the bonding between students and the teacher will improve because now what happens during normal classes you will be having a hardly 30 to 40 minutes of engagement with the students and that will not give you that good bonding with the students but in the class you will be having more restrictions where students will not be having that open mind or they will not be able to have that freeness to discuss their own interested topic with you but in the tinkering lab it is going to help them to discuss the topics at their own fashion they will come up with some new ideas and they will open up their minds okay so that all for the adult tinkering lab these what are the opinions i have put in front of you those are all my personal opinions your opinions can be different from this or better or you are having some different way of approach towards the tinkering lab you can share all of those into our description we will definitely appreciate your inputs regarding this i hope that all of you will be a part of this 
new movement or new era which is going to come up in the future we will prosper 100% with this atal tinkering lab participate in learn number make this program a successful event it will really help you in the future we request you to keep learning keep tinkering please do watch the entire series for more information regarding the atal tinkering lab hope you enjoyed the video there are many videos regarding the tinkering lab there in our channel please do encourage us by subscribing our channel and also suggestions or any remarks or any doubts please do in the comment box keep learning keep tinkering